Hi everyone, it's Beth. So today I'm gonna make a video where I show you how to use GDEX to purchase some crypto coins. Um, I am going to be, use, be using GDEX to purchase Litecoin with my US fiat dollars. Um, so what I have done is I already asked GDEX to please fund from my bank account and that does take quite a few days to accomplish. So if you're looking for an instant transaction, GDEX is not going to work out for you, but if you are, you know, if you just know that you want to make a buy, then you can ask in a few, you know, ask to make a deposit. So you click deposit there. This window comes up and um, you can choose, you can fund from your bank account or from a wire transfer. You can fund from your Coinbase account, either, um, I'm paired with Litecoin right now. That's why this is the Litecoin wallet showing up or the USD wallet. And then you can also fund from a Litecoin address. So you can come here and if you want to go from crypto back to fiat dollars, uh, you can also do it that way and deposit Litecoin or Ethereum or Bitcoin. Those are the three coins that GDAX uses. And you can use the exchange to sell for US dollars and and then you can withdraw directly bank directly back to your bank account that is tied to Coinbase and your thusly your GDAX account. Um, GDAX is the exchange that is used by Coinbase. You can see the interface here is quite different from the user interface that you get when using Coinbase. However, um, the fees using Coinbase are quite high and you can execute uh, the transactions here on GDAX without fees. So it's a great option as long as you aren't looking to have instantaneous activity. So I was prepared and did have $50 deposited into my, um, into my GDEX account here. So now I can go ahead and you can see this is, looks like it, it pretty well found the floor here, um, right around $47 and that is Pretty, we're, we're still under $48, under $50 right now. I think under $50 for Litecoin is ridiculously cheap for this day and age. I mean, all the cryptos are just, prices have been slashed today. So it is a buying opportunity all around. I'm going to be buying Litecoin right now, but I am also going to be buying some Bitcoin and Ethereum today because... They're so cheap today, and I know they're going to come back up. I have full faith in the crypto markets, and, uh, you know, whatever's happening with China right now, that's temporary. And, you know, this is not the first time that China has come out and tried to regulate exchanges. It's not the first time that they've even closed exchanges in China. And, you know, I'm not, I, China is a big big market in the crypto sphere. And I do not think that they, the Chinese people are going to be getting out of it anytime soon. That's my opinion on that. So I'm not scared. I have absolute faith in crypto and I, I'm going to take advantage of, of the, of these low prices today. So here I go, make a market order here. Success. All right. So there we went. I just made the market order. It got me 1.0654 Litecoin and that is done. There it is right there. 1.06 Litecoin right there on GDAX. I got it. Um, looks like 48.70 was what I ended up paying for that. So that's great. Um, I don't know why my limit order was rejected, but I didn't encounter fees making a market order. So sweet. All right. That was easy. Now I can withdraw. I'm going to withdraw to a Litecoin address. I'm going to withdraw the maximum. I need to give them a Litecoin address to send to. So let's pop over here to my Exodus wallet, grab my receive address. There we go. Copy that. Paste it here. Confirm the address that I copied and pasted it correctly. LDVX. LDVX. Fantastic. 
Alrighty, so I'm going to need my two-factor code. So I will have it send me a code. We just press get, get code and it sends it. And withdraw. So there's there are no fees. I, I mean, there you go. So I just, I had no fee to take money out of my checking account and um, deposit it into GDEX. There was no fee for purchasing Litecoin on GDEX and there was no fee for, exchange, for sending my Litecoin off of GDEX and to my Litecoin wallet. So there you go. It's really easy to use. It's really easy to fund and you can skirt around all those super high Coinbase fees. The only problem it, with using GDAX is that you just have to plan ahead. So if you're looking for, um, you know, taking advantage of a quick drop in the market like we're seeing today, then you probably won't be able to use GDAX um, just because unless your funds are already sitting in Coinbase or in GDAX, then it will take a few days for your um, GDAX to, to make that transfer from your bank account. So there you go. If you liked the video and you found it to be useful at all, then please, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more from me, please subscribe. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.